There is no scientific evidence, zero, none, that the Earth is a globe. Wake up to the lies being told to us by NASA and the government. The globe model is easily disprovable to anybody willing to open their eyes and see science for the shysters it is. These words lingered in the air like a persistent smell, inviting opposition. But unbeknownst to this flat earther, this time, opposition would be more than anticipated. <clears throat> At flat earther. Science is not done by wildly guessing and being confident about it. We use the globe model because it accurately describes reality and can make predictions, something that the Flat Earth model is incapable of. Are you prepared to back up your beliefs? At Blueprint, models are not reality. Seriously, all you have to do is look at the horizon to see that. At Flat Earther. Nice deflection, but if you could disprove the globe model, that does not mean that the Earth is flat. Once again, are you prepared to back up your beliefs? At Blueprint, it wasn't a deflection. I got the horizon from the Black Swan observation. The Black Swan observation is impossible on the globe Earth. Not my problem if you are too lazy to Google it. Wink. From one foot above the ground, the horizon line is only 1.22 miles out, yet clearly there are oil platforms visible at 6.2 and 9.1 miles. Bye bye ball At Flat Earther. Lazy. You clearly don't know who you're dealing with, but that's okay. Now, to dismantle your argument. That image you posted, I have seen it many times before. First, I will grant you the assumption that the camera is indeed one foot off the ground, though neither you nor I could prove that it isn't higher. If so, we will also know that the horizon distance in miles is the square root of 2 times the height in feet, which actually works out to be 1.4 miles, but whatever. I will also grant you the assumption that the rigs are at the specified distance. With all that in mind, this could still be a real image on a globe, and here's why. Do you see that shimmery distortion on the rig in the back? This is called atmospheric distortion, which is a result of changing air densities over the water. What we are witnessing is probably just a semi-rare atmospheric distortion called Fata Morgana. Uh, P.S. I know that you're not lazy, so you'll look that one up. This is consistent with what we see, and it explains why there are only a few examples like this. Seriously, try to find just a few more photos like this. I'll wait. Also, I would guess that at least tens of feet of the rig's legs are hidden over the horizon. I mean, the rigs are, like, hundreds of feet tall. Please do not be sad at Flat Earther, you are always welcome to join Team Reality over here. God bless. And so, science won out in the end, and the Flat Earther was never heard from again. At Blueprint, atmospheric refraction doesn't let you see more. It restricts view via light refracting upward. Wink, wink, wink. And we do know the height of the camera. The picture is actually a screenshot from a video. Wink. Anyway, using the rate of curvature equation, 8 inches per mile squared, the horizons should only be observed at 1.22 miles, not over 9 miles. Once again, impossible on the globe Earth model. And if there was atmospheric distortion, the horizon would still be in front of the rigs. Plus, there are a bunch more photos with less distortion. Link, link, link. Have fun explaining that. Checkmate, Glober. There it was. A video. Or at least a screen capture of a Facebook video that is itself a screen capture of the original video from YouTube. Dayton studied the video with great determination and began researching. After a short time, all was made clear. At Flat Earther, unbelievable. I mean, are we even looking at the same image? We are witnessing severe atmospheric refraction in every one of these photos you linked. Look. 
Here's how atmospheric refraction works. When light travels through a changing medium, this can be air, water, or even gravity, the light is distorted by the changing densities caused by the intense temperature gradient over the water. And since these effects tend to bend with the curvature of the Earth, so too does the image, clearly allowing the observer to see over the horizon line. And if you don't think that atmospheric refraction can do that, think again. Your pictures prove it. Amp Blueprint. I know all about how refraction works. The light will point to the medium that is more dense, like cold air, than a less dense one like hot air. This is provable since atmospheric refraction is stronger in weather. And you made the bold claim that refracted light bends with the curvature of the Earth. If so, please demonstrate. Demonstrate light bending in a downward convex way due to atmospheric refraction. I'd love to see it. Get wrecked at Blueprint. <sighs> at Flat Earther. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. This is the material boundary, dense medium on bottom. Here is the normal line. This is Schnell's Law. Light entering a dense medium bends toward the normal line. Light exiting a dense medium bends away from the normal line. Gucci? Gucci. Here is an object obscured by the horizon. Here is that same scenario, now with air and a density gradient. Each time, light behaves according to Schnell's law, clearly bends light along the curvature of the Earth, and raises the image slightly. What what? Now, I realize that you have just been thoroughly wrecked, and you will not soon recover from this. Frankly, I'm embarrassed for you at Flat Earther, as you should be. If I were you, I would not reply to this threat anymore. God bless, at Flat Earther. And so, another debate comes to a close. No minds were changed, but perhaps something was learned by our spectators. This is what Blueprint would call a win for science. They will sing praises of this victory for a thousand generations. But beware, the Flat Earthers will come. They will be in the comments section under this very video, Sowing Chaos. Descend to the comments section at your own peril. Though, who knows? Perhaps in engaging with a Flat Earther, you too may learn something new today. <laughs>